Hello everyone, Cap M here, and in this video I want to get into the recent report that just came out of United Airlines Holdings that's very bearish. I want to get into the charts of United Airlines, Delta, and Boeing, and look at what this means for the airline industry. Also, if you'd like three free stocks when you sign for Weeble and Robin, check the links in the description below. So getting into the analysis, guys, United Airlines just reported $2.1 billion in quarterly losses from the first quarter, which is 17% down from the previous January quarter, and this is extremely bearish for the stock. Now, we've been saying this for a while now, guys, all these airlines are going to be um, reporting bearish earnings reports due to the fact that demand for airlines have gone extremely down right now, and the pandemic has closed basically all these cities and a lot of transportation outlets for all the people. So basically, guys, right now, Earnings reports are coming in for United Airlines today. Then tomorrow we have Delta and on the 29th, Boeing's reporting as well. So keep that in mind when trading these stocks due to the fact that they might have extremely volatile swings right now. So looking at United Airlines, they had applied for $5 billion in federal grant for payroll grant for their employees. They got that. And now they're also reapplying for another $4.5 billion of federal aid just to support their businesses due to the fact of these extreme losses. So guys, we've been saying this for a while that all these airline industries are extremely over leveraged due to the stock buyback programs that they've been doing over the course of many years and not having any cash reserves to try to weather this storm, which they can't due to the fact that they don't have any cash on hand. So taking this into consideration, guys, let's look at United Airlines right now. Right now, United Airlines is kind of having this kind of bearish formation over here. Kind of a descending triangle, not playing out fully yet. But right now we're getting rejected by this 20 exponential moving average. This is the bearish divergence that I've been calling out right now for a while now. The stochastic going up while the price moving down. So this is kind of the overall bearish uh, momentum that we're seeing in United Airlines stock right now due to the technicals. So I took this flagpole extrapolation from here, if you guys are wondering. Uh, if we take it even just a little bit more down we possibly could see even lower prices in United Airlines kind of breaking these lows if we have extremely bearish news that keeps on coming from the airline industry. Now, if the uh, whole lockdown kind of stops from happening, like if the whole lockdown is stopped right now and kind of we see more people uh, opening up many sectors of the market, we're gonna, we can see many stocks bounce back. But right now on the current system, on the current structure of the lockdowns, we still don't know when we're gonna be fully open, right? So looking at United Airlines, it's looking bearish right now. And remember, this is not financial advice, guys. These are only my own ideas and opinions on the market just for educational purposes. So let's get into Delta Airlines right now. And Delta is looking even weaker than United. So Delta didn't even fully bounce back to this 20 exponential moving average after it hit the top over here. And we kind of closed this gap over here already. So right now, Delta is also looking kind of bearish. And considering the fact that they're reporting tomorrow, we're probably going to hear very negative earnings. So... Right now, guys, Delta Airlines took the flagpole extrapolation from here. We could possibly see prices further down. I mean, look, guys, these are the flagpole extrapolations. I'm not making this stuff up, right? If we take this pole over here and we kind of just move the same movement that we saw over here, and I'm not even taking the ones from the top over here. I'm not, I'm not taking a flagpole extrapolation from here, which would be even further prices. I'm just taking this approach over here and put it to the recent highs. And basically, I mean, you could see that the prices are in the $10 area. So that doesn't have to happen. But again, I'm just saying overall during the current market that we have and the fact that all of these uh, governments have locked down all these economies and basically all the airline industries are kind of useless right now. They're not being used at all. We see that there's further decline in prices. And I want to show you guys just, uh, just to remind you guys again that I've been reminding you guys for weeks right now. So if we just go back on the monthly chart in the 08 crash over here, right? Guys, we saw huge declines in these airline prices. Delta was trading at around $16, and we saw a decline all the way down to the $3 range. So basically, we saw 80% decreases in the price of these airline stocks. So what's making you guys think that we can't see that right now? It's a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure, but just be careful when trading these stocks because we, we know that these are highly leveraged firms, and the fact that there's a whole recession looming right now is going to play a big role in where these stock prices are going to trade at. So just be careful when trading these stocks. So just wanted to show you guys that to remind you guys the bearishness in general with these airline stocks. So let's get into Boeing right now. Now, we know Boeing has rejected several um, government aid up until now. They might have to go and apply for it right now. I know they reopened the uh, facilities in Seattle, 
But that doesn't mean that there's going to be huge movement in demand for Boeing airplanes in the near future, right? Because all these airline industries that are buying these uh, planes aren't going to really be buying them in the near future unless it's more for military purposes and stuff like that. So right now, guys, Boeing is also getting rejected by this 20 exponential moving average. And we're kind of seeing this again, descending triangle formation, a little bit more played out on the Boeing chart, which is generally a bearish indicator because we can see that when we have a descending price movement, there's not enough buying pressure to try to send up the price higher. So right now we have a descending triangle formation kind of setting up and we're going to break. We, we could possibly break these lows and head in to close this gap over here. Remember, guys, we still have this gap. This gap over here was recently filled a few days ago, maybe a week or two ago. And right now we're seeing another gap over here still open. So be careful again when trading these stocks. These are going to be highly volatile stocks. We know Boeing is probably going to also report losses in these uh, first quarter earnings reports. So be careful guys when trading these stocks. I showed you guys the kind of relationship to the 2008 recession and how that kind of played out as well. So like I said, guys, be careful. Please like and subscribe if you found this information valuable. It helps out the channel a lot. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you, stocks you'd like to look at next. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.